here in the office and watch the game. And let me tell you how chicken shit that is. He not here on purpose. No, he because he told me no, he that a, he won't gonna be here. He, he ain't had shit to do. He had a movie he's working what on. What they doing? Held up three. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, they didn't do two. <laughs> so you and, and Fox, two. Yeah. So you and Fox watch Soulless and then the game. That's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> so and, and, it and, hurt. And, 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 and Kobe had a bad game. I came front. He had That's a bad game. That's how I knew Boston was supposed to win game. that game. It wasn't he, a bad he game. He had a bad shooting game. He had 15 rebounds, so that contributes that, to 30 points that they don't get. He, Foul. Kobe wanted it And how many bad. block shots did he get? How many assists did he get? He didn't have no Mad block D. Shots. How many yes, times sir. did he cry? Mad D. He cried from the celebration. Yes. Call into 877-2106-106. Let us know how you're going to celebrate the Lakers' victory. Or if and, you're not going to celebrate it. And if you're not going to celebrate it, all the people that call in, and they, fuck Kobe. What about all that shit? Well, Shouts out to being in New people, York. A lot That's of why they feed pigeons. And shoot eagles. <laughs> a lot of people are talking mess because of the comment he made about Shaq. What, what recently? What you remember? Well, he go. I got five rings. He made the comment during the press conference last night. What did he say? He said, "Fuck Shaq." <laughs> Yeah, no, really, he said that? What yeah, did he yeah. say? They said, you know, how does it feel to have, you know, what does it mean to have five rings? He said, you know, I got one more than Shaq. And he said, you know, I don't forget, y'all. He said, you know, I don't forget. And that's what people are not, uh, uh, not understand. So Shaq is in the Sha- gym right Shaq now. Shaq start, nigga, doing what? He's riding with a nigga named Jim. He ain't going to lose no weight, nigga. <laughs> right. Nigga built like Honey Bun Mosley, nigga. Because nigga- you remember Shaq <laughs> made the song, what was it, last year? The year Kobe, before when, last, he, when he won in 06, he won in 06, he right. said, Kobe, how am I? You know what? We can, you know what? Why don't we play that? Why don't we play? Why is my voice this high? Why don't we just play that? Here go the tape, Johnny Mac. Put it in. (laughs) Press play. Check it. You know how I be. Last week, Kobe couldn't do without me. You know how I be. Last week, Kobe couldn't do without me. I call myself big, but I'm not as good as Biggie. I call myself big because I live next to Diddy. Excuse me, Diddy live next to me. So in the hood, dog, I feel like B.I.G. Because if Biggie was still here, he would be right there. On Star Island in the mansion somewhere chilling. Sitting on about half a billion. Because me and Gus Kibosh, that's half a billion. For real, dog, now that's B.I.G. Ain't nobody in the world do it bigger than me. That's like a white boy trying to be more than me. That's like a homeless cat having more figures than me. That's like Patrick Ewan having more rings than me. That's like rappers having cars trip things than me. That's like you saying to yourself you're better than me. That's like Kareem saying to yourself he's better than me. Now stop. Think about that. It ain't about that. It's about P.I.G. A.K.A. Big Shaq. Now that's the difference between first and last place. Kobe, tell me how my ass tastes. I think it's oh, that shit. That, that, was, that was live, too. Tell me how my ass tastes. First of all, let me comment on that. Then we'll go to break. Kobe, tell me how my ass tastes. Shaq said that Kareem said to himself that he's better than He was just going up the hill. Yeah. Did this nigga retarded? I don't think he really mean it. Well, you know, Shaq's wife had a song, too. What's it called? <laughs> Tell me how my lawyers... <laughs> this nigga. And on that, oh, comedy is a tour. See him. <laughs> I was right there. You was close, Louis. I, I know, I was see right him. there. <laughs> see him. I thought you was going to come hey, on. We're going to take a quick break and come back. We want everybody to call in to 877-2-106-106. Celebrating the Lakers right now. We'll be no, right back. Not. The Foxhole, baby. Lakers champion. Hate yeah. the Lakers. Back. I love it. So I've been playing basketball. Not in Boston at Fort Lauderdale. Back. 877 and number to call in and let us know who you was cheering for. And if you were cheering for Boston, go on, call in and spit that to us. We and if you know. were downtown L.A. last night. And setting, didn't get arrested. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, really. Uh, so uh, 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 Speedy, you right. Nigga. They was out. Because you're not living in Sherman Oaks and I was coming. I seen twenty you cops. You got warrants. What was you going to do? I, I seen twenty cops already in work. I said, you know what? It's a great to time to turn around. <laughs> you just pull fact, I'm gonna pull my fucking car in this Denny's and just walk home. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker was out ahead. I Dead did that. One. John, I did that one time. The police got behind me. I just pulled over and got out the car. <laughs> it was a no parking never. <laughs> I said, hey, left the car running and everything. The fuck about that car? <laughs> get out with handcuffs already. Like, hey, the chokehold will not be necessary. I know the routine. <laughs> Open the door. Watch my head. I got it. I got Do it. Do I get my old cell back? <laughs> <laughs> left out. Left hand first. What? Left hand. Left hand. Seize him. <laughs> Stick it right here. Tell me what you yeah. said. Hold on. Is that the running joke? <laughs> That nigga said left hand first? Well, they tell you to put your left hand out the car first. And, and then do the hokey pokey? What are you no, talking about? No, in the movie Colors, they said put the your left hand first. Colors. 
How many people went to jail since that move? <laughs> <laughs> You've never been pulled over, Lewis? No, not I've never been. I mean, I've been pulled over, but not never told to get out of the car. I'm in a Toyota Corolla. So yeah. they didn't stop your you for they your didn't stop you for illegal mustache or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> no, your car is transparent been. anyway. I've never had handcuffs on. Hey, what the what fuck? the fuck? No, I've never had handcuffs on. Well, one night I did, but hey, hey. that's oh, you and that. You God, and that dude. I don't believe that. I don't, I don't believe. No, you shout out to the him him club. <laughs> <laughs> Who you with? Him him. him, him. him. <laughs> we got a phone call right now. We got my man Watts from St. Louis. What up, Watts? What up, Fox Hole? What's up, man? St. Louis niggas, what they call a back. Hey, man, I was going for the Lakers, and I got, I got, I got to shout out my cousin Dozer, bandwagon hopping ass nigga from the <laughs> Celtics. <laughs> I ain't never shit about him. And to me, that's the ass. Fuck the Celtics. That's all I got to say, man. Shout yeah, my mama out because I know she's listening to me. Hey, next time you call in, don't use the Morris Code phone. Yeah. <laughs> we got every other word. But I, I, I heard you say shout-out to the Lakers, so I guess it was a good thing. And uh, if you could do me a favor out there, watch, uh, tell Chingy he ain't going to make a comeback. Our next phone That's call. <laughs> yeah, it's I'm over. Like, I'm it's, like, it's over for Chingy? It's over. Yeah, it's over. Really? Yeah, him and his face. Right okay. there? What about right. the Band-Aid guy? Yeah. He'll never be right yeah. there again. Nelly. Yes, yeah, Nelly. Nelly's coming N- Nelly's still cool. Okay. You know, yeah. Nelly's still cool. Yeah. You know, he had he hits. You know, even, you know oh. he had the greatest song in the world. It's getting hot in here, so take off all your clothes. Okay. Yes. What about Joe Torre? You got yeah. Torre. I'm going to play that at your wife's wedding, just in case. You hear what he said? What? You hear what he said? What he say? What about Guy Torre and Joe Torre? They coming back? Wow. Oh, wah, wah, wah. I don't know who said this, but I think it was uh, uh, Marlon Wayans told Joe Torre that his arms are stronger than his ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's I just felt bad. Nigga, that was so fucking funny. You told that nigga his That's arms are stronger. <laughs> Shouts out to GMC. <laughs> Shout out to the Bowflex. We got another phone call from Texas. <laughs> Anthony from Texas. What's up, Anthony? I, I'm uh, sorry about Howdy, the... Fox ho. What's Hello, up, Pippin? What's Fox happening? Fuck them Boston. I'm from Rhode Island. Fuck Boston. They got to come from California for me to like them. Anybody but the Raiders, every team in California, whoa, whoa. hockey, football, basketball, whoa. I love them all. All Same right. for the Lakers and fuck Boston. His name yeah. Anthony for real? Uh, all right. Uh, 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 for real. Uh, B. Scott show is on Monday, 6 or 7. <laughs> Uh, damn, That's man. funny you knew the time. Oh. Yes. Oh. Oh. Cause he knows what time it is. <laughs> uh, I love, my love the phone call, Anthony. Thank from you for Texas. the phone call, man. But but hold on, let me get to the uh, when he attacked the Raiders. That was uncalled for and unnecessary. And he, we, the truth hurts. Wait a minute, the Raiders ain't gonna win. We can bet that. Whoa, 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 we can bet whoa, right whoa. now. Whoa. No Raiders are not gonna win. It is no. You don't even have a team yet, Speed. Yes, I do. Well, didn't team? y'all cut y'all pregnant football player? Your quarterback? Because <laughs> he was pregnant. Oh, that, was funny. <laughs> that was funny. Well, with the child bearing here. That was funny. That was funny. <laughs> <laughs> but y'all even got Donald McNair. Y'all got a white boy. No, Michael Vick's the quarterback. We just faking it. Faking oh, it. Let's, oh. take, let's take to the Raiders. <laughs> Shout out to Puppy Child. <laughs> We got another phone call. Don't ever attack the Raiders on Foxhole. Now, I take the shit from the Lakers. You can say whatever you want to say because the Lakers are uh, uh, Super Bowl, I mean, world, uh-huh. champ, world champions. <laughs> but I think it's below the belt for anybody to attack the Raiders. I the just Raiders think, ain't shit. Hold they on for a second, never be Speedy. Shit, boy. Oh, I've never said nothing about the deepness of your belly button. Don't ever attack the Raiders. Wow. <laughs> Let the Raiders stand alone. You've how seen you, how deep it's That's belly. what I was going to ask. You can see Speedy, everything. <laughs> wow. I've seen, seven, I've seen Speedy two. topless. We, I've, oh, seen, oh, I've seen him topless. Oh, oh, too much information God. there. Johnny. I'm sorry, Johnny Mac. We, 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 we played pool volleyball. And we was on, you know, I've seen Speedy without his shirt on. Was he glistening? <laughs> <laughs> Had that summer season. Nigga, look. chest hair need a perm. I'll tell you that. <laughs> my chest and, and back hair. And, oh, my God, Speedy. <laughs> I'm a man, bro. Men don't have to have hair on their back. Yeah, you're part Iraqi. <laughs> Because yeah, you look like a sphinx when you take your shit I'm off. Just saying, I'm just saying, Speedy ain't supposed to have back hair like that. <laughs> the girls like it. Because they like the braid. You know what? <laughs> I don't Shouts think out to Barrett. You're supposed I to have do. a spine, not cornrows down your back. Wait a minute, Johnny back. I don't know no female that likes back hair. Thank you, Speedy. Thank you, Porter. <laughs> like what Speedy do you do with that? Anyway, we got another phone call. We got Still Mr. Rich from Miami. What up, Mr. Rich? <laughs> Mr. Rich. What up, Johnny Mac? What's up, Pimpin? What up, Park Hey, 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 up, hey, hey there, Mr. Rich. I ain't gonna lie, Johnny Mac and y'all. I was rooting for Boston, but uh, awesome. congratulations to the Lakers. Thank and, you. And uh, Lou Dix, yeah. you're retarded, man. 
Kobe Bryant still <laughs> scored 20 points, you dumbass. Most people don't score that their whole entire career in the NBA. Shout out to uh, Morrison. He ain't gonna... <laughs> <laughs> did you just call me retarded? Yeah, you yeah, did. Cause yeah, it's because you said and dumbass. Hey, and uh, the good chick that was in Denver with Kobe, that wasn't a white chick. That was your wife. Whoa, oh, Mr. Rich. Wow, Mr. Rich. I, 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 yes. Tell me, Kobe, but, ass face. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. But, Rich. Like, I appreciate all that love. <laughs> but, like, it's funny so how callers call in and they only attack Louis Dix. Because he's an easy win. <laughs> Have you seen Louis Dix? <laughs> what you not attack? <laughs> Why not he, kick the puppy? He right there. <laughs> <laughs> We got another phone call. I want, I want people to be just as enthusiastic as they was when they were hating the Lakers Shut and up. all that kind of shit to you little Facebook people. And, yeah, where's Tree and, at? Yeah, where, yeah, where's Tree? Well, the stream callers from last week. You motherfuckers call back in this week Two with your up. fucking tissues. <laughs> <laughs> fucking sissies. Wow. Now, for, oh, sorry for venting like that. You I hate to say side street. Side street sissies. <laughs> we got another phone call from North Kakalaki. We got 12 play. 12 play. Hey, check it out, check it out, y'all. What's up, Pimpin? To the whole panel, to the whole panel at Foxhole, man, because y'all do that thing every fucking week. Thank, Thank you, brother. Thank Appreciate you, brother. But, but check it out. Most people don't know why Kobe wear 24, because mm. it's after 23. He the next best fucking thing since motherfucking Whoa. Michael Jordan. To so all you motherfuckers that don't realize, Kobe is the man. Hey, big ups to the Lakers, man. Uh, I ain't really going to go off like that real good, but I, I want to. But uh, big ups to the Lakers, man. Yeah, hey, we're going to do it again next year. No, no yeah. Come on back and check it out. We're going to send you a Super Bowl uh, 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 world champion. Nigga, here, get your life together. We're going to see your world champion, Dakota Ring. <laughs> yeah. and it's, Kobe is not better than Michael Jordan. He did not say that. He said the reason why he wore 24 is the game. next best thing. No one is saying that he's, he's Jordan. No one is saying that. Don't try to bring down our high. Right. This motherfucker got five rings. Well, it's really, the young man it's said really, it's really poet is high, not yours. You don't get high. You right. You right. Yeah. You right. Yeah, you bring him my high. Yeah, even ah. even poet is had is smoking right now. <laughs> <laughs> From the Tina mind. Marie collection. <laughs> <laughs> calendar. The Tina Marie calendar. <laughs> but Speedy. What, boy? Did you not enjoy that? No, victory? I hated that game. Why, Speedy? Ah oh, man, I was so I can I can when I can't watch Sports Center, it's a problem. Yeah. I can't watch Sports Center when the Lakers win. You can. No, I can't. Do like I do. Whenever they play the world soccer shit, I turn it. I turn it down to uh, the, the NBA channel. I go from uh, 206 to 216 on DirecTV. I just turn it right there. Lewis ain't got that. You ain't got DirecTV? No, I don't. You just got a direct TV. <laughs> <laughs> he goes directly to the TV. <laughs> you know, they, got, they got some new inventions in this millennium, uh, Lou Dix. You know, they got cable. I can't afford cable right now. They got, they got cable is $12 They got car paint. You, your car don't have to look like you grow up potatoes in the bank. Who has cable for $12 a month? For, yeah. for those who don't know, they have a thing called Lifeline, where you can just get basic cable. It's like $12 a month. Cable people won't tell you that. You have to ask for it. All right, cool. So you got Lifeline? <laughs> no, I spent like $150 a month on cable. Yeah, Me too, Speedy. I got the NBA package, the football package. I got the Playboy channel. I got it all. <laughs> what? Yeah, you, know, yeah. Hey, you get the Playboy cool. channel hey, on TV hey. now? Learn the art of seduction. You just happen to have it on when the bitch <laughs> comes through. Then it go down. Don't, don't worry about my life. Tell them, Speedy. They're going to hear some moaning one way or the other. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, we got another phone call. We got my man Clarence. Used to be a slave from Indy. <laughs> what up, Clarence? That's an old name. What, what up, what up, Mac? What's up, What's up Pimpin? Hey, man, why why do people hate the Lakers so much, man? Because they hate themselves. <laughs> I, I don't get it. Now, Misery love thing. company. This is my thing. When the Spurs won, they, they quietly won there for this whole decade. Nobody said nothing. Nobody said a word. But as soon as you know Kobe get his five championships, Lakers win, it's just instant hate. You can't yeah, hate on greatness. Awesome. You can't hate winning. Y'all, I, I want to say something to you, Clarence, because you're husband said right. Somebody texted me and said before uh, yesterday, like on Monday, said Kobe may have four rings, but three of them don't belong to him. So I texted the young man back. I said, did you take away Larry Bird's rings? Did you take away uh, Magic Johnson rings? They all had great teams. Did you take away Dr. J rings? Did you mm -hmm. take away the great balls well, and Celtics? With, uh, with, uh, uh, Bill Russell won 11 on that great team. Did you take away their rings? Why do you just want to take away Kobe rings? like Kobe. But this is why pe people hate them. They don't hate the Lakers. They hate Kobe. They don't hate Kobe. Kobe. Why hate do they hate Kobe? He's an asshole. 
Because, yeah, yeah but, he, because he's arrogant. I like Kobe Bryant, but he has that aura, he has that aura about himself. Right now, you can't really tell Kobe anything. No, yeah, he does give that aura like you can't tell me anything. I that's not true. Player. That's not true. He, and that's not just that him. And that, that ain't just him. That's a lot of people in the league. It ain't just Kobe, but he. The I mean, Lewis star. gives that odor too, but he just need deodorant. Oh yeah, that up. Yeah, you got to put your arm down, Lewis. <laughs> no, but wait. No, on a serious <laughs> let me answer this question, Clarence, about why people really don't like the Lakers. Because you guys purchase your rings. The other teams, they earn their rings. You guys oh, go out. And get extra players. You go get. Look, you guys Lewis, stole Lewis, Paul Casal. Lewis, Let's be honest. Go ahead. Lewis, pur- purchase some pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Shouts out to the red light district. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, was was that was funny, Clarence. Stay for the phone call, Clarence. That was funny. Let me let me attack said, that, dude. This is what pussy. great team does. Don't override They make that. trades. And they make deals to get a better team. Uh, Cleveland went got Jameson, went got Mo Williams, went got Shaq, and it didn't work. Uh, 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 Dallas Mavericks went got uh, uh, Muhammad. They went got uh, Karan Butler. Muhammad. It didn't, yeah, that nigga. They got Muhammad. They went got Who's Muhammad. Muhammad. A prophet. I yeah. assume Muhammad. You know that nigga he played for Kentucky. Yeah, he played for Kentucky. What's I thought you had now? cable. Yeah, nigga, shit. So, so that's Turn what great that teams day. do. They say, "Ooh, we have a weakness. Oh, we need a better player," and they go out and get that better player. At that time, uh, uh, when they got Paul Casal, Bynum was hurt. They didn't have a center. But, Take your but, mind but back. Hold on. No one knew Paul Casal was on the block. That's because you got a, a 65 GM. The great but, GM knew that Paul Casal. Because he used to work for them. Who gives a fuck? And, and look at how That's you called got your inside coach. trading. And look how you got your coach. <laughs> how did you get your coach? Your, your coach wasn't going to play until his daughter put it out there. And then when y'all got Carl Malone and Gary Payton, it didn't work out, huh? Because Who Gary... gives a fuck about what it didn't work? Last night it worked out, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Eight seven seven two one zero six. This ain't, this ain't your car. You can't keep going back into the past. Well, all right. What's, what's that? We got one on of the, the greatest assistant coaches of all time from Oakland, California. No, he's not from Oakland. Where's he from? Where's he from? Richmond, California. I know Brian Shaw. I have to say the name. I know this young <laughs> man. We Terrible. go way back, like back pockets on pants. Be Shaw, great. The, the, might be the greatest athlete that came from Richmond. Him and Willie McGee. University of uh, Santa Barbara. He yeah. put it down. Yeah, he, went he beat the UNLV. He sure did. And you know what was interesting about that? He He's went on to the University phone, of Santa Barbara, and Shit. he didn't marry a white woman. Uh, Seize him. Oh, God. <laughs> I, it is official. You are missing a chromosome. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Shaw, what up? Everybody, we got Be Brian Shaw. Shaw. Be Shaw. Congratulations, Richmond's Brian. Richmond's finest. So, when you taking over the Lakers show, what's happening? Man, I, you know, Phil Jackson, it's his, it's his job. It, it's, it would be hard for anybody to walk away from making $12 million a year. So No, 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 no. I this expect you, that this... man to, to keep coaching until the wheels fall off. No, 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 no. You got to slide in now that you can get on the piggyback of his uh, great his championship ring. You can just jump in. You got the same team. It's more likely you're going to win. So just jump in like <laughs> the dude did in Dallas. Well, I'm, I'm preparing myself, and I'm ready to go. So, when, you know, whenever he decides to step step to the side i'm more than more than uh ready brian now brian were you a little nervous or stressed at any point during the game last night you know what i wasn't really nervous um I, our defense was playing fine offensively mm-hmm. we just couldn't get anything to go kobe was really pressing and uh mm-hmm. you know was having a rough time but we were always you know within striking distance and mm-hmm. uh we know that boston can go cold you know, just like we were going cold. And so, you know, at some point I expected for everything to kind of click. And uh, Ron Artest, Lamar Oldham, Powell Gasol, Fish made a big shot. Um, you know, so last night was – that's what made last night's victory real sweet, the fact hey. that it was truly a team victory. Brian, Lewis Dinks, uh congratulations. <laughs> In other words, nobody. <laughs> <laughs> what I wanted to ask you is I, I was – No, no, what I wanted to know, they said that each of you, each of the assistant coaches has a team that they have to scout. Yes. During the, what was your team? Who was your team? Was it Phoenix? I had Phoenix, yes. Yeah, you so, did a great job. Yeah, what, is, what does that entail? What do you have to actually do? Just watch a bunch of film on them? What, what, during, the, during the season, uh, each, each coach has actually eight or nine teams that we have to track and follow throughout the whole season. And so even on nights when we don't play, we, you know, we have to come home and watch on direct TV those teams <laughs> watch, their, watch their games. And, and – uh, we have to diagram their plays, get their play calls, uh, and and basically on the day of a game, we we are in charge of doing the 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 game preparation, the the X's and O's, and how we're going to defend uh, what they're going to defend their offense and attack their 
their weaknesses and how they're going to attack ours. And so you're basically the coach for that team for that day. Um, you brief, brief the head coach and give him the rundown on this is what Phoenix runs, this is their personnel, this is what their strengths and weaknesses are, and then he in turn goes to the team because they want, you know, they want the team to hear one voice, basically, you know, the head coach. Are you saying that Phil Jackson don't do shit? <laughs> That's what I'm getting from this whole. You said you got eight nineteen. No, I would. Ne- I would never say that. No, you oh, know sorry. what? Ultimately, we'll say it for you. Ultimately, he has to be. He has to be up on everything. So actually, it, it, it works in reverse because he has to. You know, he's ultimately responsible. So, you know, it, it's a it's a way of uh, of of achieving accomplishing checks right. and balances. If we're not up on our stuff. Then he's gonna get on us, and it's gonna make him look bad. And, and if and if we're if our stuff isn't right, it's gonna make him look bad. So you know it works out. And you if you're just tuning in, we're speaking with Brian Shaw, assistant coach of the Los Angeles. That's Red not Red true. It's Brian Shaw, the assistant coach of the Red world Red champion. Red champion. I'm sorry. Let him know. My apologies. My bad. Let him know bad. the back to back. Back to back world champion. <laughs> right. Whatever. Right. TDP got a question. Uh, Brian Shaw, TDP. Uh, when is the parade? <laughs> the parade Monday. is Monday, Monday morning. All right. I, no, you, my hand was up. No, they wasn't. I got a question. Uh, Brian, it's Speedy. Look here, he man. I don't know you. <laughs> so, how many rings is this for you now? This is number five. Mm. You got five rings. Yeah, and did you, I got to get, get my thumb measured for this one. Oh! oh. <laughs> I bet you Kevin Garnett can't say that. Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> I, I, I have a question for you. There's a lot of coaching jobs that's out there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and, you know, Cleveland, you know, is out there. And, and Clippers. Clippers. I, uh, I think I think Mark Jackson going to get that one, though. No. But I think. I hope so. They're going to let the Clippers coach themselves. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> so, out of, out of the coaching jobs that's out there, uh, Brian Shaw, which one would you like to have? Or are you interested in becoming a head coach for anybody else besides the Lakers? No, no at this point, I'm, I'm really only interested in becoming uh, the head coach of the Lakers once still. <laughs> Side. Um, you Can know, I get seats behind the bench? Johnny <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mack, oh, you know I got you, man. We there it is, there it is. Yeah, I, he don't he all know excited. You. He just had a it, little it, orgasm he here. He don't um, know you. Brian, Lewis <laughs> Dicks again. I want to ask you another question. You guys, when you're sitting right next to Phil, it's really interesting that you guys might say one or two things to each other. What are you saying? I mean, what's, what's that, that, what's that, that dialogue? What's all love you want to know Well, about. no, because sometimes when you're watching TV, he'll lean and say something to Phil. Phil will say something to you, and you might smile. Or you, like when Ron Artest was taking that three, or he didn't get his meds in Boston. What are you guys saying to each other? <laughs> does, does Ron Artest take meds? Oh. Fuck all that. <laughs> Let's get right down. You heard the interview. I was like, Jesus Christ, <laughs> the fuck is he saying? What did he you say? know what? It it range. It's a variety of things, and and to be honest with you, it could range from anything. You, it might be, man. Did you see that girl walk by over there? Hilarious. <laughs> Talk uh, about the meds, Brian Shaw. Does Ron Artest take medication? I don't. I don't know what Ron Artest takes. To, yeah, to be honest do. with you, you know what? You know what? Actually, Ron Artest is a very, very smart basketball yes, player. Impossible. Yes, he is. He, he is. He's a very, very smart basketball player, and he's probably one of the most well-rounded players that we have on the team. What? Um, he, the, you know, the thing with Ron, I mean, you have to take the good with the bad. And, and what's the bad? The doses ain't high well, enough? This year, <laughs> this, year, <laughs> this year, we didn't have to Really, we didn't really find out what the bad was because he was, you know, he was a model citizen, you know, now, this year. Wait a minute, now My we, man, are we he showed up on John. Jimmy Kimmel with no shirt on. Hold on, John. Are we talking about the same dude that went up in the stands and socked the hell out of somebody? <laughs> well, see, that's the kind of, you know, you can't really control anything that anybody does off the court. Huh? But come on, Brian Shaw, you know, I saw some iron peel spot your when suit. He's, <laughs> when, he's, when he's between the lines on the on the floor this it's year for thing. us, he was a model citizen. You know, Let he me ask you this. any altercations, he didn't. Uh, you know, he did what he was supposed to do and provide true. for our team, which was bring some toughness, bring some Great defensive team. tenacity, and that's what he did. And that was the difference between us winning this year and losing to Boston in 2008. We had somebody that brought some toughness that could shut Paul Pierce down, um, which he did for the most part. Whoa. And big this year, you know, he hit some shots. In last night's game, it really kept us in the game the whole first half while everybody else was struggling. Are you talking about Paul Pierce who said we're not coming back to L.A.? Is that the same Paul Pierce you're talking about? 
Yeah, I guess that's, I guess he said that. <laughs> well, he's sick because he has a house here and he was coming to see his mom. And he told her I may not come back because I'm busy in Boston. Hey, yeah. Y'all got to get hey, the story right now. Brian, right. Uh, Brian, at what point in your career did you realize you wanted to be a coach? I mean, um, when he started playing. When he started no, playing. no, I mean, there had to be a point. I mean, when you were in high school and college, Lewis? did you know that that was something you wanted to do? And how did you uh, get to that point and achieve it? Uh, no, you know, I had coaches all the way up the line basically tell me, you know, from high school, college, and even in the NBA that I was going to end up being a coach. And I never really took it seriously until about two years before I retired, our assistant coach, Frank Hamlin, here with the Lakers, uh -huh. uh, started inviting me to come in to the coaches' meetings and, and see how they do the scouting reports and in their film sessions. And uh, he did that because he said, you're going to be a coach. You know, you're a guy on the team. You're a role player on this team, but the players – have as much respect or more for you than they do for the star players on the team. And so um, this is something that you're going to do, so you might as well start learning how to do this stuff now. And I kind of, you know, slowly just started learning, uh, you know, learning the ropes that way. But I will tell you, I enjoyed uh, playing a lot more than coaching just because as a player you, you, had, you can do something about it when you're out there on the floor. As a, as a coach, you're putting in a lot more time. And then, you know, you just hope that they go out and execute the game plan. What makes a good play? I'm oh, sorry, go ahead, John. Oh, my hands oh, up. I'm sorry, excuse me. What, what, what are the future roster moves for uh, next year? Because I see, you know, if y'all want to consult roster. me, there's a few uh, holes that we need to fill. Yeah, and, well, and, well there, I think we only have, uh, the, I think the only players we have actually under contract are Bynum, Kobe, Gasol, Artest, and uh, Luke Walton and Sasha. Whoa, whoa, let's stop at the Luke Walton. <laughs> whoa. What's wrong with Luke? Uh, he's terrible. Yeah, we can get two more cheerleaders for him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what 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 moves are, you, are the Lakers panel on making? I mean, you know, I mean, it's hard to make moves when you're a champion like that. but It is. You know well, they, they're going to have to decide, you know, Derek Fisher's a free agent, obviously. Uh, Got to have fish. Got to have fish. contract have is it. up. And, uh, money, you know, so they're going to have to. What about Binga? Binga's, <laughs> Binga's a free agent as well. Um, you know, so they're going to have to make a decision. You know, right now, you know, Derek Fisher is still very valuable. because sure he, is. He makes the big plays, uh, you know, down the stretch when we need him to. And uh, he's been there before and he's done that. And I think he still has a little bit left in his tank. Um, but, you know, in terms of economics and free agency and what have you, that's where Dr. Buss and Mitch Kupchak are going to have to sit down and, and uh, decide how much bread they well, really I, I, I can help you out right now, uh, 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 Brian Shaw. Get rid of Sasha Usechick. <laughs> Get rid of uh, Baby New Year, better known as Farmer. And you got to trade Luke Walton for at least two oatmeal cookies. You, gotta, <laughs> you can get that. I mean, that's on the open market right there. <laughs> you, got, you can get that. Uh, uh, who else I can't stand on the oh, market? Uh, what's the dude that cried when he got in the league? Then his knee went Adam out. Morrison. Adam Morrison. Adam uh. Morrison. Well, just get him a new dialysis machine. We can get rid of him for uh, Bud Light. Yeah, we can get rid of. Him. So I mean, what what moves? You know what I'm saying? I mean, okay, do we do we need a point guard, a, a backup point guard, a defensive point guard? I mean, what do we? You know? Yeah, I mean, you know, you can always a point. Do guard. Lamar Odom need a new weed man? I mean, what do we need? Because <laughs> that nigga be lethargic sometimes. <laughs> well, you know, I will say this: it's, it's tough. It's tough. Sometimes when you have uh, you you can't there is a such thing as having too much talent on a team, right, and so right. the names that you just mentioned Luke Walton, Sasha, Adam Morrison, guys like this you you have to have some guys on the team that uh, you know, that, that aren't going to make. Nigga, I can sit on the bench just like they do. You never yeah. know the difference. <laughs> <laughs> you know they they just they just add to the camaraderie of the team. You know, you got to have guys that are going to be there and practice hard right. every day and push everybody else. I'm going to throw a name out that that would be great for the Lakers. Uh, Rasul Butler. He played for the Clippers last year. He's a free Yeah, agent. yeah. Rasul's nice. Man, he's got threes. Yeah, he got I, three. I like, I like Rasul Butler, but at the same time, you know, whatever Ra Rasul's, but Rasul Butler's uh, salary may not – fit into, you know. Uh, he was playing for the Clippers. We could get him for a salad. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, uh, Louis Dinskin, I want to ask you, what's the toughest uh, part when you're coaching new, new, these new generation of players? What, what's the difference that you see with your generation and the new generation of players when you try to coach them? Lack of the weak, respect. The weak game? Lack what do you mean what? lack of respect? Lack of respect in terms what do you of mean? 
Because when I came in as a rookie in 1988, there was no question about as a rookie you got you got to carry everybody's bags. Right. If they want some coffee in the morning, the newspaper, you go get it. Right. You were the lowest on the totem totem pole when it came to uh, when it came to pay, you know your salary. Um, they used to tell kind of like how we do Lil's dicks, but keep going. <laughs> <laughs> they used to tell us that we were well shit at the bottom of the ocean. Wow. wow. And so that's, that's, the, that's the and mentality that you have, you know, that you got to pay your dues when you come in. And now, you know, a lot of these young players, they come in fresh out of high school, you know, one, two years removed from college, and they sign, a, you know, a, a big, giant contract, and they make it more, more than some of the veterans on the teams. And, you know, you try to tell them, you know, you guys, when we get off the plane, you guys help the equipment manager get the, the bags off the, off the plane or off right, the bus. Right. You know, and they look at you like they're crazy. I mean, I ain't, I ain't, uh, I ain't taking nobody's bags. Shit, they should be taking my bags. Who said so, that? LeBron well, I James. Think, I think that's just, that's just. I mean, can you imagine <laughs> LeBron James coming in and he's already the best player on the team? What players on his team were going to make him, make him do anything? Well, you know, what, you, you really think about it. The dude that's dating his mama. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Gloria. <laughs> Gloria. Brian Shaw, first of all, I, I want to say shout out to your wife, Nikki Shaw. I love Nikki, Nikki Shaw. Yeah, you yes, can catch her show Shaw. every day, today, she always, flavor, right she here always, on the Fox Hall. She always has the best boots. She's always got the greatest smile. And she root for the Lakers because, you know, when I get go to the games, you know, the ticket that Brian Shaw didn't give me, Lakers. you know, she be cheering. I be like, you're going to bust a blood fucking vessel screaming that loud. You know what I'm saying? So she's a, a, a Laker fan to the heart. I love Brian's show because he came out of Richmond. Talk about coming out of Richmond and what that means. A lot of dude love. A lot of dude love. Hey, hey. Just brothers, saying, dude. Brothers can love brothers. That's what's wrong okay. with black folks now. We don't love each other. You know, you know, Richmond Richmond go, kind of uh, flies under the radar just in terms of uh, cities around the country that where there's a lot of negativity coming from, a lot of violence and crimes mm -hmm. and what have you. And, and Richmond is probably one of the most dangerous cities uh, in the country per capita uh -huh. when, when you really, really look at it. And, and, you know, you look at just the whole, you know, I was I was born in Oakland. I was raised in Richmond. Um, so. Spent most of my time, you know, I, I basically laid my head down at night in Richmond, but, you know, I always went to school in Oakland. And the, the, the players, the uh, musicians, the, 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 Famous people that that Oakland and Richmond, the Bay Area, has been able to turn out um, that that represent. Like last night, I got to introduce my son to Bill Russell. Wow! I'm from a climate high school in Oakland. Yep. Telling my son, I was like, you know, this this is one of the greatest centers to ever play the game. He he won 11 championship rings as an NBA player. Yep. He came right from Oakland from a climate high school. That's you right. mentioned Willie McGee. You know, oh, yeah. Good and uh, yeah. Gary Payton, Jason Boom. Kidd, J.R. Bam. Ryder, Bam. Dave Henderson, Dave, uh, Dave Stewart, Ricky Henderson. I mean, you yeah. go down the line and you have, you, you, know, you, all didn't, these you didn't throw Johnny Mac in there, but keep going. Johnny, Johnny <laughs> Mac, uh, Mark Curry, Mark yeah. King, yeah. you know, MC Too Hammer. Short, Point of Sisters, Tom Hanks, Tom Andrew Hanks. Wood. You know, Tony, Tony, yeah, Tony. Richmond. I mean, uh, you know, you just keep uh, on going and going well, and going. OJ, is OJ. Uh, and, oh, yeah. What about O.J.? He drove through Richmond. O.J. O.J. from the Bay. He went to San Francisco Junior College. That's right. That's right. You know, Goddamn uh, right. Yeah, a bunch so, of ex-wives. Yeah, yeah. You know, it, and for the, you know, there's, there's, I don't know how many people down here in L.A., what, 12 right. million? Yes, sir. Something like that. You know, yes, I think, I think Oakland may have the population I know a few years back was only 400,000. Wow. Rich, Richmond is smaller than that. You know, it's right. probably, uh, you know, Two hundred fifty, three hundred thousand in Richmond, and well, it's two hundred thousand nine hundred ninety nine because the nigga just got. Them. <laughs> <laughs> so you know to, to come from a place like that, you know, and 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 we all, you know, I'm proud of, I'm proud of you guys, uh, you know, doing what you do, coming, you know, knowing where you came from, and yeah. how you had to get down to be doing what you're doing. So you know, it's it's all good. We all making it, and uh, we all blessed to be in the situation we're in. Hey, you know what? Thanks for calling in, Thanks, Brian, Brian Shaw. Brian Man, we Shaw. love you, brother. We, I, I'm gonna be your first one there when you take over for the Lakers. And I wanna, I wanna make this announcement once again. This is Brian Shaw of the 
back-to-back world champion, champion Los Angeles Lakers. Lakers. Give it up for and Nikki Shaw. Nikki yes. Shaw. We're we gonna take a break and be happy, right back. Happy Father's Day, Brian. Happy Father's Day. Oh, we're back here at the Fox Hall. Eight seven seven two one zero six one zero six. The number to call in to. What is it? Yeah. What, what is, is it? This? That's called Michael elevator Jackson. music. It's a song they played at. What is this? Gary Coleman's funeral. Is this uh, Marvin Gaye? Hell no. It could. Marvin been there the yeah. longest. Like Marvin Gaye when he sung at the uh, right. national anthem. Like he wrote some new shit. See the colors of the rain. Oh. R. Kelly. Oh, this is the song he did for the uh, for the for soccer, the, Super for the soccer World thing. Cup. Yeah, World Cup. It, is it me? But I really don't care about the World what? Cup. FIFA, World I Cup. Do. The, you don't care about US that. US was man. down two nothing and came back and tied. They should have won. Who are they playing? That team, Sylvania. 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 And it I, seems I, like they're more popular this year than I mean in the United States. There's a lot of media. Um, but I feel like they—that's what I'm saying. Like they forced it. You know, I don't really. You know, it seems like soccer is. Definitely, what it is—a world sport. It's the most popular sport in the world Number outside one. of the United States. I do not. You know, you know why? Because you can States. kick a ball at any time of your life. Yeah. Okay. You don't have any no basketball goal. Or you don't need a. Yeah, you can, you can play soccer. Uh, yeah, you could. Not well, if they, I had, must, if I must, they had meatballs going up and down the field. <laughs> <laughs> I must say, them dudes are thin as fuck. You don't see no little fat dude running down the field. You sure don't. Nobody fat. We're gonna we gonna go back to the porters because we interrupted yeah, you the last time. Yeah, we were talking about B. E.T. Nobody celebrates Black Music Month like they do. And this year will not disappoint Queen Latifah hosting. Queen! The Give it to a Queen! Love Queen. E.T. Awards, which all happens you and next I Sunday, June 27th. You a bitch? At 8 p.m. <laughs> 7 p.m. Central Time, only on BET. This year marks 10 years of the BET Awards. Big ups to them for that. Yes. And this year will be the best year yet. Get As ready to last year? Last year was the best. Well, we'll see this year because they have a wonderful lineup. T.I. wasn't there last year. Well, no. Oh, that's true. That's true. He's in jail. Trey Songz, Eminem, Diddy, Dirty Money will be in the house. Kanye West. Who? Yes, Kanye West is uh-uh. back. John Legend, Nicki Minaj. She's pretty like high. Wow. 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 My like daughter her. likes her. I don't like is her. Is Kanye going to have skinny jeans on or real clothes? Uh, who knows? Your and Rick Ross will also be in the house with Drake. Fucking hysterical. Jay-Z and many, many more from the King of All Awards show, the wow. BET Awards show. They're going to have Check Best out, Actress, yo. Best Actor. How about Best Collaboration? Who do you think is going to win this year? Who had the hottest? Does Jamie qualify this year for Blame It? No. <laughs> okay. What about winner? <laughs> Uh, Prince is being honored oh, this year, wow. too, so that should be nice. He's getting the Hip of the Year Award. Uh, <laughs> but his hip is out. Do you think anybody can do Prince's song the way he does it, though? That's no. The thing. no That's going to no, be tough. Prince is the bomb. Well, anyway, wow. so 10 years, 10th year anniversary for the BET Awards. Be sure to tune in Sunday, June 27th. June 27th. The ultimate destination you won't want to miss. Hosted by Queen Latifah. Queen Latifah. I want to say this, Queen Latifah. This is Johnny Mac. And TDP. And TDP. I can come down and punch it up. I got joke. Real tough. I can come down there. I can warm it up. I bring. I, you come back out with the uh, queen hat on if you leave it up to me. Trust me. And I'll warm it up. In it. We, we can have Speedy warm it up, you know, like over Red Barker, because that's all he can do. I can wear one of my vests. Yep. Oh, oh man, up. last you year. You know, last year he wore the back out. Oh, oh my God. Did you remember that? He oh wore the God. back but out vest. that was best. a dope ass outfit. No, with, the, with the back out, with the hair showing and everything. Yeah, the back out was on the back <laughs> and his pants. He had a thong on. It was nasty. Was Ew. And, and if that you, nigga had on a linen slingshot. <laughs> and check it out. If you can't watch the show, you can listen to us live on Sirius Radio because we'll be doing the show live from BET. So you can we'll be do it, we, we'll be doing. We'll be doing the broadcast Friday, Friday. before the awards. Yeah, so we'll live. Stupid. You know what? I got some of it right. You yeah. put the um in dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's. And he said it was so much like clarity. Wait a minute, nigga. Wait a minute, nigga. I do. I do what? Do what? You put the um in dumb. <laughs> that is hilarious. Um, that is funny. Um, I know there's a V in there. <laughs> um, is that what a V? Oh my god. Oh my god. Somebody said you had a back tattoo <laughs> that just mean. <laughs> He said you put the um in no. there. And you laughing. He talking about But well, it's the same dude that said the whole Obama st- was uh, only president for six months. <laughs> this dude. The, whole, the, the state of Chicago. Remember that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we going global. Nebraska. <laughs> <laughs> we global. What did he do, TDP? He put the um in <laughs> dumb. <laughs> Well, we want to congratulate Oprah and Will I Am. Well, hopefully we get to that. I'm, I'm, I'm going to ask you more questions. 
So, Speedy. <laughs> don't ask about top Cause, one. Because your daughter, you know, Cheyenne's <laughs> coming in town. Don't ask She's one. here. <laughs> She's here for the summer. Do you really do their homework with them? No. Yes, you, I do. Please. Oh, I mean, yeah. after that statement, Speedy, I, I'm starting to second guess. <laughs> oh, he, hey, you know how that joke is. He, he, he do their they homework do. for them when they get to school. It's all wrong. Must be all no, cooking class. No, they do their homework for with Speedy. Okay, Cheyenne. <laughs> Cheyenne, so Cheyenne you got Speedy. ten apples. <laughs> but, but I ate three. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and Leroy got two. <laughs> how many apples left? Uh, That's I don't enough know. for apple pie. <laughs> no, okay, let's go to the porters. We got some Put great the, topics. Mm, okay, congratulations <laughs> to Oprah and Will I Am. Um, they they both um, were not. Will I Am? Yeah, what the Will fuck? I Am. You talking about William? <laughs> <laughs> Willie they Will? are among 30 people announced as the 2011 recipients of a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Congratulations. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 I, I, can't, can't, I can't roll. Come on. Wait, now. Oprah in the we, same with I Will I Am? Will I Am is well, a black eyed No, it's not just Will I Am, but the Muppets. Penelope. Well, the Muppets been around. Well, yeah, the Muppets been around. Penelope crew. Now, nah, come on, what? man. She just do dudes to get on TV. What? What the she's, I mean, she's got a little talent, but she started off doing Tom Cruise first to get up there. Come well, let's on. Let's be honest. No, come she was on, already Louis, that's call, not right. Well, I'm not saying that. I'm just oh calling you. She did date Tom, Tom Cruise. Cruise first. She was dating a lot of dudes. Let's just go with their career, Lou. Yeah. I don't want to what tell you. That's part of their career. They date a lot of chicks. So Which what? dudes? Oh my God! Who? All of, all Keep of going, importers. Who's the? Danny uh, the, DeVito was all. I can respect that. Yeah, oh yeah. way back in way back in taxi. I can respect that. Donald Sutherland. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, great actor. Great actor. Great, 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 great actor. Tina Fey from I think she's Mad TV. Oh, really? uh, 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 Saturday Night Live. Yeah. Yeah. Tina Fey. She's a good writer. She's she's Tammy Faye Baker. Thirty rocks. Thirty rocks. But my my thing is she ain't been doing it long enough to get a legendary star on on Hollywood. Well, you have to be. Lewis wrote some notes down on some. Let's just see. Who else is, is getting this? I can't go with the Will I Am. I can't go with the Tammy Faye chick. I can't go Gwyneth with that. Gwyneth Paltrow. I can, I, mean, go that. I can go with that. I can go with that. I can go with that. Uh, it's yeah. a stretch. That's, That's a stretch. But she's been, she, she been there for a while. Yeah, but you got to be in it. Five, you have to be in doing what you do for five years. Or if you're deceased, you have to be deceased five years. So in five years, Gary Coleman will get his. It won't be a big star. Be a little, <laughs> little oh, thing on the like side. Seize him! <laughs> but they say you have to be... In Release the hounds! So I don't think... Who, uh, else is, who else is up there, Portis? That's all I have on this list right Okay, here. let's go. I, I respect Oprah. Long overdue. Overdue. Long overdue. Oprah definitely should get a guy. Why don't you think Will I Am deserves? Because he hasn't done anything. What do you mean he hasn't the done boom, anything? Boom, he's, pr- he's produced music for a but, number but of I think artists. If you get a star a in the star, walk I mean, of fame. You, you got to be legendary. Legendary. It seems to me, as of lately, as the past couple of years, they're just giving everybody stars. It's like they don't really. That's what I'm saying. There's really no, no criteria. That's real criteria. That's what I'm it's saying. Like, supposed- you probably kick them a few thousand dollars or however much. It's 25000 plus 25, or whatever 000. it is. Yeah, 25000 You know. That's once you get elected. Once you get elected. Once they say you, you don't kick it, it, you donate that money to the cause but, of uh, helping to keep the, the stars clean on Hollywood Boulevard because they have to pay somebody to do that. So that's their. Wait, that's what the way did of, you say, Johnny? Man? You mean to tell the homeless man, "Piss, don't keep it clean." <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's all on the motherfucker, uh, Hollywood Walker fan. But here's my thing. Here's just my thing. I'm not trying to cause a you controversy, the, but mm, the, the um, <laughs> you even got that wrong. Got Shut up. up. Jeez. You said um and yum. You fat fuck. <laughs> well, here's my here's my thing. Here's my thing. I'm not trying to disrespect anybody yes, or whatever. You are. But I think you're supposed to have a great body of work. Body of work. To 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 uh have a star on the walk of fame. That means you better than everybody else. I don't want to see no mediocre to subpar talent or because you hot. Or because you got a great reality show, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You get a fucking star on a walk of fame. You know what I'm saying? I, I can respect Danny DeVito. Right. He go way back from Taxi. You know, then he had, you know, he uh, been one. He, you know, uh, 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 I can't think of the one. He had some one. great movies. Too. He had some great movies. He was yeah. doing his things in the 80s. Twins. Twins, which was hysterical. You know what I'm saying? He did a lot of great work. Yeah. I, but the Tammy Faye chick. Well, she, but listen, you think in five years, ten she years, you think somebody like the Kardashians are going to have one, the reality people. That's what we got to look for. I think that's when we're getting into the gray no, area. I think, well, Those you always in the gray area, especially by the sideburns, uh, uh, <laughs> fit look. That's because uh, I, <laughs> I haven't colored my hair yet. Chicken George. It, I'm getting it done. I, I just think that. We need to honor, like, 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 like Gary Cooper got a, a star on the Walk of Fame. Lassie. Well, yeah, yeah, that's the guy. Well, Lassie was a motherfucker. Well, Lassie was good. Man. Yeah, Lassie, Lassie was yeah, good. Was he Lassie. Lassie. Yeah, yeah, that's him and Red 1010. They deserved that. Yeah, yeah Lassie, you know? Was Lassie there? I, no, 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 but uh, they stuffed him. <laughs> Does Will Smith have a star? 
Yes, Ooh. yeah, Will has one. How does should. Will Smith don't have one, but Will I am? He said Will Smith do have Will one. Will Smith has one. He has, he has one. one. Yeah, he has one. Yeah, he has one. I mean, it's a lot so of people. So he is legend? Yeah. No. Okay. Oh, hilarious. Now, I, he has I, a good body. I, I, I just think, I just, I mean, just back me up on this. So Lewis said he has a thing of, of what? I don't think that anybody and everybody should have one. Will I am? Yeah, well, I don't know. I don't, Will I does am? Jay-Z does Jay-Z have one? No. And he's way better than Jay-Z. Way better. Jay-Z is way b- What? That's what I meant. <laughs> what did he do, TDP? He put the um in dumb. <laughs> He's way better than that. That's what I'm saying. There's some, you know, okay, this th- is, does Tupac have one? This, this is the one? criteria. This is bullshit. One, they have to have a record of professional achievement within the nominated field. Two, they have worked in the entertainment industry for a minimum of five years. So that's no, not, very long, that's not very long at all. And um, they have made a contribution to the community, typically through charitable activities. See, also, the recipient must also agree to attend the dedication ceremony. In addition, a sponsorship fee of $25,000 must be paid. Non-human and fictional characters are also eligible for stars on the Walk of Fame. Yeah, Kermit the Frog, Big Bird, Ren 10, 10, and Lassie all have yeah. stars. Johnny and I respect that. I respect Big Bird. Curious Big George Bird. doesn't have one. You mean to tell me Hulk ain't got a star? <laughs> Hulk smash. Hulk sad. <laughs> Hulk friend. Bling, 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 bling. Well, the nominations for getting a star on the Walk of Hollywood Walk of Fame are announced in the entertainment trades. The nominations must be submitted by May 31st to the Walk of Fame committee, which is a division of the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce. Does, does Magic Johnson have one? I think so. I don't know. I have to look that up. Then look that up. I think There's some motherfuckers out there that should give one before Will but I is am. he in the entertainment business? Vanessa Magic's Williams not has one. Entertainment what? Magic's not in the entertainment business. No. It don't give a damn. But he's had a charitable. I mean, he's definitely I mean, been he, done a lot of charitable work. Yes, I mean, look what he did for HIV awareness. Okay, here's the question. <laughs> well, here's, here's, here's the question that we're asking. Why have some very famous stars not been inducted? Okay. Sometimes... The selection process can be puzzling. Clint Eastwood, Mel Gibson, Jane Fonda, and Robert Redford do not have stars on the Walk of Fame. Wait a minute. Yes. Wait a minute. And yet, Donald Trump, Pee Wee Herman, Magic Johnson, Pee Wee Herman, and Vanna White do. The The reason for this, the reason for this is that the aforementioned celebs have not been snubbed. Have been snubbed. They have, oh, they've been snubbed. To be considered for a star, celebrity must be nominated. No nomination, no star. So nobody has even whoa, nominated whoa. these people. Clint Eastwood. What? Yeah. No one's Dirty nominated. Harry. I guess that's what that's happened. Ridiculous. Mel Gibson. You feel it lucky. almost makes you think that Punk. it is about the money. It has to be about the money. It can't be that it's you, about the nomination. Why would you? Why would you, who, who, who? Okay, who's designated to nominate them? Can I can I nominate? Yeah, you can start a committee, raise the money, and I'm a, You know what? This is what we ought to do. We ought to nominate Johnny, Johnny Mac. Mac. Yep. <laughs> You've been doing this more than five years, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah You've been... given money to charitable women who yeah, needed it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and abortion <laughs> clinics. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Hit us up on put the um and dumb <laughs> at speedy <laughs> dot com. <laughs> Yeah, but then he cool. put the um and yum. <laughs> no, we ought to do that but, just but to see how let's, far it goes, John. Let's, let's attack this. Clint Eastwood. Wow. Will He's I won am. Oscars. Will I am. Clint, Clint Eastwood ain't got one. Will I am. Who else you said ain't have one? Mel, Mel Gibson. Gibson. What the fuck? Jane Fonda. Mm, what? Well, Mel would have had one until he slipped in Malibu. Robert Redford. Mm. Yeah, I Robert don't believe Redford. that. Robert Redford. No, 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 no. We have to contact the Hollywood <laughs> Chamber of Commerce. They're the ones that are over it. I think they had... Um, a, whoa, whoa, a whoa. challenge doing Marvin Gaye. Robert Gett. Redford ain't got a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. No. I like how you said that. Say it again. Robert Redford ain't. Did you ain't. say Robert or Robert? Well, you're just a really rabbit, aren't you? A silly really rabbit, aren't well, you? I don't have a mustache to move my upper <laughs> lip. Like <this. laughs> Red Fox ain't got one. You lying? No, Red uh, Fox got to have one. Jamie Fox got it for him. So. Oh, because my producers hit me and said Red Fox. Red Fox got one. Uh, we we got it. Who I got to call? Who I got to call? We, we got to make Old some phone man. calls. We, we got to stop. And Let Speedy do the call. And you're going to um <laughs> you're gonna nominate fucking, you're going to give one to, Will, I'm not saying Will I Am is not great. I'm yes, not saying that. Are. Will I Am does great music. Yes, he does. He does great music. I can't front on him. He does some great songs. I ain't going to front on him, but he's part of a band. It's, it's the Black Eyed Peas. It ain't no just Red him. Fox, no, what? No. But he no. makes contributions. Eric Estrada yeah. has one. For what? Is, is his motorcycle on that? I guess. Barbara Walters has one. Hold on. Red Fox don't have one? No. No. 
Wow. Red I, Fox don't have one. So, Sean Diddy Combs has one. Let's stop right now. I'm yeah, done. Yeah. I'm done. He has a body of work. But, but, but he, he has a great his, body of work. No, no, and he what? Like music? Years ago. Music, yeah. Music. Not acting, though. No, no, stop. no not acting. Music, musically. Music. Okay, because he got he's his a horrible actor. And business. He's a businessman. Yo, 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 we got to talk to somebody. Red Fox don't have one. Somebody Clint that's Eastwood. associated with them, call in, 877-2106-106. The Hollywood Chamber of Commerce. Yeah, somebody that worked there that's just riding around in their car listening to it. Now, now, give Oprah hers. I respect that. Yes. Oh, yeah, of course. Okay, we get Oprah do. Yeah, yeah, but I can't, I can't run with the will I am shit. I can't. Are you going to go to this nah. thing when they do it? What? Are you going to go when they have him on there? Yep. Wow, that's right. sad, man. I'm going to go down with Will I Am, receive his... Uh, and austerity. Yep, I'm going to cut it out. Does Paul McCartney <laughs> have one? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Because today is his birthday. All, all the Beatles got one. Oh, today is Paul McCartney's yeah. birthday. Yeah. Now, were you, who were, else's birthday is it? Uh, Venus' uh, birthday was yesterday. Venus who? Williams. How many Venuses? Could have been, it been Venus Flytrap from uh, <laughs> WKRP in Cincinnati. Tupac's 39th, would, what what would have been his what? 39th birthday was this week as well. Oh, oh, man. And speaking of anniversaries, okay, this is the 16th anniversary of the uh, car chase. Yesterday, OJ. the famous Bronco Ooh. chase. Oh, now, let me speak on that. Uh, 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 yes. ESPN do that thing 30-30, and they covered it. They showed the other day. I, I came front. That shit was fascinating. Yeah. What? I, I, people were watching that like the soap operas. Remember when the trial yeah. was on? I yeah. mean, people were like. I watched the trial day. every goddamn day. I think there's certain. Things. I was on trial and I won and OJ. I'm just and I won and OJ won. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you who lost doing that when they was on the trial. They didn't, they didn't cover. It. Remember Carlin Ferguson who shot the motherfuckers on a on a on a train? Right. 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 Then he represented himself and he had the corduroy jacket with the patches on, on yeah. the elbow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I watched that too, Phoenix. Yeah. <laughs> I think some things, like they say, the world don't stop turning, but there are some things. Yeah. I think when OJ was being chased for one second, the world, because everybody well, went no, to, no, to the television. Because the, the New York Knicks the and the finals. Houston Rockets were playing in the finals. Was At game, the same time. And yeah. they didn't even show that shit. Game, game five. five. Game five. Game, they they took, they took off, did they take off Oprah, too, for that long? Sure or did. Or the, and sure the soap Now, that's sacrilegious. Because I remember we were going to go to the freeway because he was coming down the 405. There were people Mac. on the freeway yeah. cheering Johnny Mac went down there. Tell him. Yeah, you know what, Speedy? Shut the fuck up. Ah, you ah, went down there, Johnny Mac. I slapped shit out of you, Johnny. <laughs> he, he was on a bike. First Johnny of all, Mac, wait. Lil Marcus wasn't supposed to tell, tell that part. <laughs> I'm sorry. Johnny Mac, where were you? I went down to OJ's crib. You know, when, uh, <laughs> when, they, when he went home. Off of Bundy? Off of, uh, oh, you went Brent, Brentwood. Brentwood, yeah. While he was going home, you were there when he got home one, from when, the uh, chase? When the, the chase was over, when they yeah. went. They went no way. I swear to God. Why'd you go over there, man? I didn't know what was going on, Speedy. <laughs> were you was, trying to get autographs? It was Rocking so exciting. Out. I was Rocking like, out. you know, uh, uh, it was Rocking so exciting. What made you go to his house, though? Because that's where everybody else was going. I just wanted to see what was happening. No, the police were going to his house, not everybody. Hey, Speedy, when we was watching the other day, I was like, I said, uh, uh, Lil Marcus, you're going to see me run by this camera. <laughs> but you had no locks in. No, nah, nah, I had a high top fade then. <laughs> my question is. Yeah. But my shit was high like an A Bleakin hat, nigga. I, was, I didn't have no regular high top fade. It was it was off the chain. Where is Al Collings, the driver of the Bronco? Where I heard he got a limousine service. <laughs> What's the call? I drive you to hell. <laughs> wow, his, hey, his daughter went Remember, OJ lot, had a gun to his head. He was and he stole on the dude. He stole yeah. on that dude. The dude yeah. ran to the Bronco. I don't know if it was OJ or AC. And the dude ran to the Bronco, and, the, and somebody swung at the dude and stole on him. Right. <laughs> well, he lucky it wasn't a knife. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but I, I think that part in OJ's life, and I think when they gave the verdict. Yeah, the I saw world that. stopped for a hot second. Longer we, than that? No, we you watched think longer that. than that. Longer than that. I was. We were in class. I remember it was elementary. I was in the sixth grade, and we were watching God, that. We watched that day. Yeah, Y'all know. Hey, it's all right. It we was sixteen. Sixth grade. But we, it was we watched it. Ago. We watched it on TV in class. What? The verdict. That's because the, the teacher remember, wanted well, to watch you had a black it. teacher. No, it was a white teacher. Wow. Wow. We watched it. We we used to watch the trial every day right before we go to recess. Wow! And when they when he said not guilty, I think all the black kids jumped up. Yeah, we, I jumped up. I literally okay, jumped all up. the hey. black kids no more chocolate milk. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Speedy, I was I had a little situation, a little little case I was fighting at the time, and when they said OJ, they came and said not guilty. I knew that I was getting off. I went to see my attorney and said, "Nigga, OJ got the fuck off." <laughs> I don't care how many keys they ain't said I had. They ain't got number six ounces on me, nigga. Do you think people have changed their opinion over the years? Like, nope. if you once thought he was guilty, do you now think I, I, he's I, not I, I've guilty? I've always thought he was innocent. I always thought yeah, he was innocent. What? Too. I, 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 I think, think too much had to go right for him not. This is why I think he was innocent. It, it defies the, the laws of physics or logic for me to commit a murder. And I leave one glove at the fucking scene and, one, and take the other glove home. One glove, one glove. <laughs> 
You only get to have just one glove. One glove. One glove. You're lucky just to have just yeah, one glove. Yeah, it's crazy. Look at that. It's hysterical. <laughs> well, you know, one glove. Uh, OJ's uh, attorney uh, just this past week tried to uh, file for them to throw the case out. And which, which attorney? He had not that one that got him put in. No, the one in, in Nevada. Oh, that, nigga. that case. Yeah. But you know what's He's also terrible. interesting is that OJ's. It, yeah, yeah. What happened to card- OJ's oldest son? What happened to the kid? Yeah. Remember he was playing football. He Jason. said he was the one that did it. Yep. Apple juice? Yeah. yeah this, <laughs> they can call it apple juice. <laughs> well, Simpson's co- uh, lawyers were back in court earlier this month to ask it. call the nigga apple juice. <laughs> <laughs> to ask the Nevada Supreme Court to overturn um, the ruling. Well, I respect that. I, at yeah, least, he should have got no At least he was less than a sentence. I think he was sentenced to 15 years. He yeah. didn't do shit. Mm. Yeah, at least, yeah. Well, they're trying to say that they're holding that case, the Nicole Brown murder against... But yeah. if I found not guilty, I'm found not guilty. Right. You know cool. what I'm saying? But let's go back to this. <laughs> OJ was just foul. That was what his problem. He, once he got off. Whoa, 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 whoa. How was OJ? Well, what I'm saying was once he got off, he should have just laid low. It's and, hard. And why just, not? Why, why he can't pick up his life and well, do what he, he was do? just well, going here's around. Here's a man who ain't never been stuff. in handcuffs. Going right, to right. Lay low. <laughs> so what? OJ lived on the cutting edge. So what? <laughs> <laughs> on the what? On the cutting, cutting edge. edge. <laughs> I saw a knife commercial late last night, and I thought of OJ. Hey, no, hey. No, 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 the funniest joke ever told was Chris Tucker when he said he invited OJ over for Thanksgiving. He said, "No, nah, nigga, put the knife down. I cut the meat." Probably had to be there. Yeah, no, I thought I thought um, <laughs> Earth seize him. <laughs> I thought Earthquake had the funniest joke about um about um the little Magoo on his shoulder coming. Like, Look at what you done now, dum dum. Okay. All right. Seize him, too. <laughs> yeah, we, we need to take a break and uh, come back with some clean comedy. One glove. <laughs> one glove. <laughs> then after that joke, everybody else went straight to hell. We're going to take a quick break. The Foxhole, Sirius 106, All right, I'm out. 149. The Foxhole, baby. Two <laughs> glove. One glove. <laughs> one glove. Hey, OJ, why you just walking around with one glove, man? Is that the new style? <laughs> For the young brother of both gang. <laughs> Is it the G, the G, the G. <laughs> the L, the L, the L. The O, 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 the E. I've never heard this song. What the? F- no. I, I don't know where I've been you living. Infidel. Love. One love. <laughs> But I like love. love. Shout out to OJ and all the homies. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to lose that. I don't know that song. Yeah. Hey, you know what's great? We were just looking up. You know what I'm saying? Here at Sirius Radio, Foxhole. Foxhole, baby. 106. Friday. XM 149. We were just looking up uh, the people that was involved. 106, 106, the number. Sorry about that, John. Go ahead. We were looking up the people that was involved in the case because, you know what I'm saying, Judge Ito. What happened to him? He worked at Mr. Chow's. <laughs> <laughs> His name is Waiter Edo. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to see. I'm trying to look He, he was on when it didn't take the money. Anybody, you know, Christopher Thornton took a little book deal. And uh, uh, what, Marsha, what's her name? Clark. Marsha Clark. Clark. And, 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 what, Marsha she, Brady? She aged bad during the trial? Yeah, like bananas. Did. <laughs> well, Judge, well, Judge oh, Ito shit. is actually, he's still a judge at the L.A. Superior Court. Yeah, but he do tickets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw him when I got a yeah. ticket, yeah. And has not For given any, no. any, any interviews about the trial since it happened years ago. And Marsha Clark, man. She, what about the dude that stayed in the back room that thought he heard a thump? That almost Kato. 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 Yeah, what happened to Kato? Still in the back room. This motherfucker was a house guest and going to snitch and on somebody. came up. How you snitch on a nigga? You stand in my crib. And you go yeah. say, I did hear a bump, though. Kato Kaelin. That was his name. Yeah, I yeah. heard a bump. What'd you hear? A glove? Oh, it's Dude was knocking for his rent. <laughs> it says, hey, uh, Marsha Clark doesn't even look like the same person. She's, She's blonde, blonde now. Man. And it says, after at least one trip to the plastic surgery, a surgeon after the trial, Clark is now a special correspondent for Entertainment Tonight. She provides coverage of high-profile trials, including Simpson's recent trial that we know. That Remember the dark circles that got on her eyes? I would have hit that, though. She I thought got it was mad a little, plastic I thought it was a Beetlejuice girl. She looks like girl. Kathy Gifford now. I would have hit that, John. Hysterical. I and uh, uh, Christopher Darton. Remember yeah. him? Uh. Fucking sellout. Uh. And, and here's what you don't know. Uh-oh. Why are you screaming? One for the O.J. Simpson trial, we never would have had a Star Jones. 
Right. Really? Right. She was the court reporter. She was big back then, too? Yep, yep. Although, um, yep. she's skinny now. Although right. Johnny Cochran is no longer with us, his law firm continues to. Yeah, uh, I, I got a female friend. Is on fire. I got a female friend that worked for his law firm. She said, nigga, to get a job over there, you really got to be the business. You got to be squeaky clean. Right. Yeah, Why? the Cochran firm hey, still speedy. exists, and it's one of the well, biggest I, law firms in the country. Yeah. Yeah. 28 I think, offices. I think the female. What about Mark Furman? Uh, uh, what does uh, that nigga do? Uh, he's the head of the KKK. <laughs> <laughs> really? Really? No, I'm Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. I saw, I saw Christopher Darden, though. Where? No, for, he was at the Sizzler crying in the salad bar. <laughs> <laughs> well, Furman retired from the LAPD shortly after the trial. he really retire? He got fired. And he began a career as a crime novelist. He's writing books now. And he said, including he's pinning a book um, on the Simpson case. Yeah, wow. it must be. Yeah, it can't, can't be really. And he has wow. a radio show in Oregon. That's where Mark Furman is. Wow. Good for him. K1KK. <laughs> <laughs> but, but those people were like, and, and Speedy made a great uh, uh, comment that if it wasn't for the OJ trial, yeah. we wouldn't even heard of. Yeah. Court yeah. TV. Nobody even knew right. nothing about right. Court TV. I, I used to shoot right past Court TV. You never and, watched that shit. And we know that Robert Kardashian was on the case, and you know his daughters are right, right, Chloe right, right, and right. Kim. And, that's and they yeah. wouldn't be around. No, I'm telling you. <laughs> you know she do yeah, have He that. passed, though, didn't he? The, he yeah. passed away. Yeah. Yeah. He's rolling over his grave with them girls. Why? Why? Well, because them girls are, are skanky. You, you would think that. Louis, you wouldn't think them? No, I would not. I would not Let me tell you about your morals and ethics. Apparently, they didn't work for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's true, but You're I would single not. single once again. Neither does your I hair perm. Not, I would not mess with a girl who lets somebody do that to her and then put it on tape. That's I'm nasty. quite sure. She, but, but she's done everything. No, great do that to her like he's she's in She's done other great grade. things. We're going to let that one okay. thing stay in her career, stay Every in her day. life. She's done other it's great things. Her. What yeah. other great things? Name a great thing that the Kardashians have done. She's done a Carl Jr. commercial. Hey, hey, hey. And Chloe married Lamar. Again, world say, champion back to back. Bam, I repeat, bam. After he known her for thirty hours, I repeat. Well, hey, Claudia should have took things. the bid first. Yeah. And terrible. true love is true love. No, no, no. That's that's them girls are. It is sickening that they show a commercial hey, with her getting you know, waxed. You know what? They show her You know what? You know what? We're talking about the OJ Simpson and, and the people behind OJ Simpson. We're not going to go into your family and their family. <laughs> We're going to say on my topic. family. And, and well, who else was involved in the OJ Simpson situation? Cato, the neighbor. This motherfucker. Now, he would be getting paid right now. He, uh, he tried to get paid. You know, he. I think he had, like, what, a reality show or something right. at one He was point. one of the first to get yeah, a reality to be show. on a reality yeah. show. I didn't know but that. Yeah. I yeah. want to know what happened to the witness, Maria. Remember? I, I, was don't, know. I don't know. I don't see nothing. I don't see nothing. Or the dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the dog. <laughs> and, well, last I remember, he was working for uh, Michael Vick. Yeah. Michael Vick's <laughs> kid. <laughs> Robert Shapiro. Um, he has the, the uh, legal, legal zoom. Yeah. Carl Douglas. Carl, Carl Douglas. Now, Carl Douglas is a good man. He's a good man. Carl He's still a lawyer. Oh, yeah. Carl That's Douglas. A great family. Skinny, dark, dark skin brother. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to Jack and Jill. 8772106. organization that he belongs to. What about Ethley Bailey? You remember him? Yeah. Oh, 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 man. He was a, oh, he was, well, he was a beast. It, he was well, a beast. He they, was doing his thing. That nigga was gay. He was, oh. They said in 2001, Bailey, Bailey was disbarred in the state of Florida and Massachusetts <laughs> for trying to get his hands on stock in a big-time marijuana dealer case. He was yeah. found guilty of attorney misconduct. <laughs> yeah, he, like he was a, my attorney at oh, the time. My bad. So yeah. he, was he had like a couple of million. Deal. He had like a couple of million, and it was like, well, you get the money back or you go to jail. I'll go to jail. How long did he go to jail? I think he did like a year or something. I, I, I think he Six did. months. I, to keep a couple of mil? Yeah. yeah. Speedy. He's a gangster. Yeah. What about O.J.'s daughter? What happened to her? Oh, uh, uh, that was fine. She used to come by the house. She used to come by Fox House. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, he was the one who was crossing the and Mark Furman. Yo, did you say nigger? We got a phone call. We got a call. In I would have hit that. I would We got that. a phone call from Las Vegas. My man, Jose. What up, Jose? Jose. Hey, what's up? He's up? out yeah. there with uh, O.J. What's up? Hey, um... I think y'all are off on this whole glove thing. Now, I think O.J. did it, but it was the correct verdict. And I'm, oh. I take this from the standpoint of over 20 years in law enforcement, the police messed up the case, the prosecution messed up that case. They made a, way too many mistakes, and that's why the verdict turned out the way it should have. But but do you really uh, so, think if, if somebody killed someone that you they could really get off because of those, to me it seemed like minor mistakes yeah. that they were made? All if it was minor, if it was mistakes. Oh, well, it no, left that, reasonable doubt. Definitely not minor mistakes from start to finish. 
I mean, using the phone at the crime scene is a big no-no. You <laughs> learned that in the academy. Uh, Pizza Hut. <laughs> hey, bring um, them on through. Bring them on through. T- taking evidence from in the house, bringing it outside, placing it on top of other evidence from in the house. Big Ooh. no-no. Yeah, yeah. You know, and then, you know, not getting proper warrants at the right time, all that stuff. They made mistakes. One on top of the other. And well, then let, let, me ask you this. let me ask you this, Jose. I'm sorry for interrupting. Let me ask you this. You know, to be convicted of a capital capital murder of a crime of this magnitude, uh, I thought you, to, to, you need a, 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 a weapon or a witness. They didn't have neither. No, you don't necessarily need a weapon. I mean, you can get a conviction on um, circumstantial evidence as long as it fits nice. As the puzzle comes together and fits right, but they were putting square pegs in round holes and got busted. But 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 uh, what I'm saying is they didn't have a, a witness to this murder, nor did they have any. Uh, they the they never found the yeah the dog with the paw prints, and nor did they ever find the weapon. But it's incredible. You don't. You don't found, well, nigga, you gotta have a weapon. You gotta have. No, a, you don't. No, you don't need me either, actually. But what you do need. Hey, to, I watch A and E every day. They always got a morning. weapon. I watch Forty Eight Hours. I, oh, oh man, the first Forty Eight. Hey, Jose, no, you better stop. Testimony is the worst piece of evidence that any attorney wants. Really? Because we can all see the same thing at the same time and give a whole bunch of different accounts of what happened. Now, let me ask you this, Jose. Because of that trial, uh, the way cases are done now, because of what happened there, they're done a lot better, right? What? Um, no, not really. Um, that ain't, and, uh, <laughs> that, that ain't the first, him. That ain't the first trial where big mistakes are made, and it won't be the last. But what it did change was domestic violence laws across the country. Oh, okay. See, I knew something came out of that. Yeah. Hey, oh, thanks for the phone call, Jose. Phone call. I'm sorry that Speedy confused you. Don't, don't say it, <laughs> I'm telling We you. all looking at this nigga like our eyebrows of McDonald's arch, and we're like, what? <laughs> we got another phone call. Uh, we got Dre from Ohio. What's up, Spade? What's going on, Johnny? What's up, what up man? How you doing, man? Hey, anybody that believes that OJ is innocent is a fucking idiot. How can you have a cut? on the hand of the same glove that has a cut in it and tell the motherfucker that you cut your hand when you broke a glass when you found out your ex-wife was murdered. That can happen. First of all, he had a glove. When was the last time you crushed the glass in your hand when somebody gave you some bad news? You throw the motherfucker. You don't squeeze it. (laughs) (laughs) You got a point, John. That's a good point. That's a man that heard a lot of bad news. (laughs) Now, 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 with that said, he turns around and he writes a book that says, if I had killed her, this is what I had done. That'd be like Lauren yeah. Taylor going to say, well, I didn't rape that bitch, but if I had took the pussy, this is what would have went down. Well, so you, you don't turn around and write no shit out. I've been a police officer, like I told y'all before, for 14 years, and the shit that happened in that trial, they could have set him up and put a sock there and blood here and blood. That motherfucker killed her because nobody else had a reason to put them people through that, what he put them through. So well, like Gary, so like it was Gary a crime of passion, too. I mean, it was up close with the knife. It wasn't like... Oh, yeah. Well, would you look at it as when Robert Kardashian got interviewed on 2020, a couple of years after the verdict, he told Barbara Walters, he said, if you look at the look on my face when they announced the verdict, I was I, I was in shock. I couldn't believe they found him not guilty. Two weeks later, that motherfucker was dead. Yeah, that's right. Hey, hey, man. OJ was, like, you, OJ was like, you turn your back on me, bitch. I'm just fucking how fine your daughter is. Your ass is out of here. Well, you know, it's really nice that you're out there protecting and serving the way you sound. I'm sure all the people are happy. Oh, you sound like... Oh, uh, look, don't play. Hey, go kill yourself, motherfucker. <laughs> he is a real police. <laughs> hey, listen, thank you for the phone call. Hey, I got to get out of here, guys. I know you're going to miss me. And thank you for the call, my man. Johnny Mac, thank you. Happy Father's Day. Uh, Speedy, happy Father's Day. You, and TDP, uh, I don't know. But, uh, happy saving a nut day. <laughs> yeah, and, and poet is happy father day to your father. Thank you. All right, I'm out. Okay, now we can really talk business here. We got Keisha from Texas. Why don't put what city? They just put the Texas. Hey, Keisha. A whole state of Texas? She from? Yeah, she from? How you doing, Keisha? I'm doing fine. How are you? Turn your radio down, baby. Turn your radio down, baby. Okay. <laughs> she said, okay. Uh, left. Then no. exit. Turn oh. your GPS down. <laughs> okay. Where you going to go to Bird? No, I just I just came from out of town. I was listening, you know, um, Fonso has kept me company on my thank long you, um, trip throughout Texas. Thank mm. you, thank you, thank you, thank you, girl. Well, I can keep you company. I mean, you ain't got to settle for a voice box. Uh, what's your question, love? Did she pass, sir? Oh, she not even listening. Go ahead, baby. Sit. Well, I was saying that everybody is saying that O.J. is guilty and everything. However, he did have an older son by his first wife. 
you know, and right. who else That's would cool. have the same DNA and everything. Mm. DNA, his DNA was found at the crime scene, but it wasn't enough substantiating evidence in reference to that. But nobody said anything about the son. So you wanted to throw he the son at He was nowhere near during the trial. As a matter of fact, um, the next day, he jumped ship. Let me ask you something, Keisha. Do you know the son? <laughs> yeah. You don't know the son. Yeah, like he's going to give us some pillow talk information. Is he in your huh? back seat? Is that who's giving yeah. you navigation? <laughs> Is that an on star on son? No, go ahead, Keisha. I'm sorry. Say again. What was your question? No, no. What was you saying? No, I was just saying that no one never looked at that and everything, but there is a strong possibility that his son nice. may have killed his, you know, I can't remember. Right. I remember I now. Remember now. In the DNA, they found like all kind of stuff that shouldn't have been in that DNA. That My man, that shit down. was planted. Yeah, it was. That shit was planted. Like the blood like, that like, was on the outside of his side. If I if 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 I'm wearing a glove. Thank you for the phone call. Baby. Thank you for the phone call, Keisha. Keisha, get back to your own star. <laughs> Maybe you can find out where you are. <laughs> She's terrible. Uh, Nigga. if if I had a glove, and I cut myself, do I bleed through the glove, and it's just gonna drip? Not, now, you, you got to imagine there's two people that was killed and, and uh, supposedly they, 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 uh throats was cut. The really bad. I can't say the word. Jug- ear to ear. Juggler veins. Juggler veins. And, you know, and, and the body holds like, what, seven, eight pints of blood? So there's, there's 14, 15, 16 pints of blood all mingled together. You're going to find a drop of my blood. Your blood. Way the fuck over there. Not not mingled, uh, mingled with the rest of it. Not all, in the, all the other 14, 15 pints. Just a drop of mine by itself. A drip drop. Way the fuck over there. On, a, in, one, on one sock. Bow. How, how you how you do that? How you do that? Cause shit, my blood. If I'm cutting, I'm hacking in the human. Shit, my shit, shit, you my doing what? Hacking in the human. You know, you <laughs> saw. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cutting away. Shit, my blood drip down in amongst the rest of the blood, speedy. If you got cut, bow. You and I'm, I'm a bleed through the through the glove. So you think the police no. officer said, "Fuck that. I don't like OJ. I'm gonna put this little drop of blood right here." But Wait. if you ever drive on Bundy, it's a little narrow walkway. It I mean, is. it ain't like. On no large spot. It so sure ain't. Blood, blood was all in the trees. It was blood everywhere. Because, you know, when you cut from blood in, in the tree? Yeah. 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 Was it blood on the dance floor? <laughs> <laughs> no blood Shouts out to Michael on the Jackson. dance floor. <laughs> we got another phone call. That, 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 uh, no blood, the baby. That's what threw me off. I said, if they found OJ's no blood, blood, you found my blood floor. way over there. That don't seem strange to y'all. A little speck of blood on the Bronco. I just, I just cut two motherfuckers' throats. On no, the I'm door. Disrespect. I just, I just killed two people. There's blood <laughs> everywhere. Right. Blood should be shooting all over the place. You right. And you find a speck? On the door. On a white. On a white bronco. And he made it in time to catch his flight. Bam. <laughs> That's why I said too much had to go right for him to have did that. <laughs> I mean, you know how everything had to go right. It, it was just too much. We got another phone call from Harlem. Doing a Harlem shake. What? James. Not not kidding LeBron James, but just James. What up, James? <laughs> What's up, y'all? What's up? What up, man? Hey, By the way, the first time I heard... This radio station, it was off the hook. And I heard it in a rental car, mind you. I was going down south, and I heard y'all going there. I love the show. Thank but in any event, um, y'all up here defending OJ, too many things match up. He did it. There's no, you cannot get no obvious than that. Too many things where his case match up. OJ like, did it, bottom line. Like what? What, like, like what, what, what y'all, matches up? Y'all defending him. What for, matches example, up? The glo- for example, the glove thing. It was like it was the same, the same thing. You can't, you can't say that it's not true. Hold, hold on one second, Sam. Match up. Oh, hold on. You said the glove thing. First of all, you don't know what knife cut the glove because they never found the knife. Why are you defending it? Defending <laughs> it makes. Bottom line, it makes sense. He did. Do you it. know That's Nicole it. Simpson? Yeah. It seems no, like it nowadays. So about it. It seems like nowadays more and more black people think he's guilty. Back then, you couldn't find a black you person sure that would yeah, you say. Tell me this. Tell me this. Tell me this. How many things he did after that? The issue he had in the hotel. He tried. He he played his luck too much. You know what I'm saying? He's not stupid. He, he was. What he's and, doing. and didn't he get you know an incident with a young white but, but, chick but, in Florida? But is that a crime for me to go get my Heisman back? Some nigga got my Heisman, nigga. That's <laughs> <laughs> my jersey. Shit, I gotta get my. You know some nigga saying? got my cleats. The bottom line, he did it. He planned it. Fucking know what he's doing. He's not stupid. He did it. That's it. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't care what nobody wow. say. He did that. That man is too smart. You know what he's doing? He's not stupid. He's a football player. Yeah, he's not. He didn't go to school. Did for you see that beanie didn't fit? <laughs> yeah. <Hey. laughs> the beanie didn't fit. I thought oh, it was yeah. the gloves, Speedy. It was the gloves. This nigga right here, man. He put the um in dumb. 
The beanie. The beanie didn't fit. The beanie. Oh, my God. It was the gloves. The gloves did not. Foxhole listeners, please get to United Negro College Fund. Now we know why he's really here. Wow. Because he is Jamie Foxx's friend. (laughs) But he don't even know he's Foxx's friend. If Speedy don't fit, we must have (laughs) quit. Thank you for the phone call, man. Speedy so dumb, he might be Foxx's brother. He just don't know. (laughs) Wow. Thank you for the phone call. We got another call from Detroit. I thought it was the beanie dome. Black, what's that? Black tear? Black tear. What up, Joe? Hey, Hey, hey. did your beanie fit? (laughs) (laughs) The beanie did not fit. OJ had the money. Look, look, drink apple juice because OJ did it. Whoa. First of all. Why you say that? Amazing. This is amazing. Why you say that? No, no, no. He did it for sure. And then they tried to frame him on something that he did, and they messed up. And that's how he got off. So you got to have guns and money. And your guns is your lawyer. And he had the perfect lawyer. Now, ahead, now, when they said he was not guilty, were you excited at he that was point? Three. Whoa. No, I already knew he wasn't gonna get clipped. What else but you know have? what? I think I think that even oh, though some black people that that probably felt he was guilty probably was still didn't mind him. Well, well I, 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 I I I wouldn't say that. I think if you if you commit this this uh, uh, heinous crime, heinous crime. Yeah. You know, I think you should, you, you know, you should serve the punishment for the crime. Nah, I, I respect that. I but I, that. I don't think, first of all, to go back to my man Black Tear just said, if I did it, how would you have to frame me? Right. You don't right. have to frame a guilty man. That's true. You frame. Right. They tried to put something on, on. I didn't, you, you can't, you don't have to frame, you frame an innocent man, pimp. Right. You got to start watching A&E, the first 48. <laughs> yes, you do. Yeah, you just keep bypassing the channel, wait for the Sopranos to come CSI. on. I, I don't watch for, first 48 that much, but that shit that, they break him down in the interrogation. That's all I see. No, no, they walk, they walk in tough. They walk in, I ain't telling you nothing. They stay in that room for about 10 minutes. They come back in with a coat. <laughs> I ain't mean to kill you. You mean to tell me you don't know little popcorn? <laughs> <laughs> we got you on video with little popcorn. <laughs> Thank you for the phone call, man. And then we get in. Don't fucking throw your life away for little popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then they switch hey, it on them. Hey, then they switch I, it. You I'm know telling little popcorn you, I don't know just told on you. He just told him. He did. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, eight seven seven two one zero six one zero six is what the number happened, to call Johnny, in. I don't know if we were able to say it, but if you want to learn about crime and how they just catch niggas up, especially the poor black folks, get an education if you're going to commit these type of crimes. Please educate yourself. <laughs> but in the first 48, I just saw the other day uh, uh, the dude from Cincinnati got hemmed up, nigga. I called in. The, uh, nigga, did did you did it, nigga. <laughs> You see the one with the dude stabbed the uh, the the the, uh, the dude the black dude stabbed the older white guy forty six times because the white dude tried to kiss him. Wow! <laughs> hey, I didn't see that one. Was that Louis Dix? Speedy, you got to get your goddamn cable watch on, man. That's we got crazy. another phone call. We gonna talk, we gonna do a whole segment on the first forty eight. We gonna, we got another phone call. We got uh, Anthony. Little popcorn. <laughs> Anthony from Alabama. Hey, what's up, hey, me? What's up? Hey, 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 I got a question. Sure. Now, if OJ. While the man was getting her throat cut, who was cutting the other dude's throat? Or was he there it is there. standing there waiting his turn? Yeah, and what? that's what people, that's what people hey, don't understand. you know what, Anthony? It doesn't you matter. Know? But what was he doing when she did get cut? You, you, Wait, hold, hold up, hold up, hold up. I've been up. to the house just because I lived in California for a while, so I went to the house. And he was there with Johnny Mac. I was there. I in front. Go ahead, Anthony. Everything is close together. Everything is close together there. But while she was getting her throat cut, if she was there... What the hell was he doing? Was he just standing there like, well, well he killed him did first. He just finished with her. Well, and what okay, was then what was she doing? doing? See, you know, what happened was he, he was. Well, you know. I'm Thank you for the phone call, man. Thank you, Thank you for the phone call. Okay, so y'all saying, okay, he got killed first. Because right. he was bringing her glasses back okay. to the house. So while he's bringing the glasses back to the house. Cut the uh-huh. C- yeah, cut the call. All right, go ahead. Uh, all right, go ahead. Guy Black, they didn't turn you on, Lord. You're not that important right now. <laughs> what, happened, what the reports were saying is that he got killed first. She heard a commotion and came to the door. Right. She was so taking a bath. She so, she, if, so if she don't come outside, she's still here is what you're saying. Yeah, that's what and, he said in you know, the book. OJ Maybe. said that. If yeah, she didn't come the to the book. door, she'd still be living. OJ right. didn't say that. Oh, she yeah. didn't know. She, he said if she didn't come to the door with a knife, knife in her she'd hand. She'd still be living. Who said that? OJ. In that book, that's what it's he supposed to quote. I haven't read it. I didn't read that book. I saw the picture. I didn't read the book. Now, did anybody see the pictures of them after they were killed? They, no. I saw I those I pictures. Like those I saw those like pictures, that. and I'm going to tell you right now, didn't know one person do that. 
Because dude was stabbed up and he was cut from ear to ear. And she was too. Yeah. I can't believe nothing you just said. Because <laughs> you put, he the, put um. the um in dumb. <laughs> if the beanie don't fit, that you must said, have quit. <laughs> that nigga said the beanie didn't fit. <laughs> and I, I was confused for a minute. I was I, terribly confused. I was like, what the hell is a beanie? Does it mean a ski mask? Because I can't remember seeing what's going with the beanie on in court. Remember? And he was like, Johnny can, yeah, he said, you can see OJ's big head in his beanie. Yeah. Yo, yeah. we got another phone call. We got Ty from L.A., <laughs> from the world champion uh, L.A. Go ahead. What up, Ty? Hey, what's up, Johnny Mac? How you doing? You a dude? <laughs> yeah, he's a dude. Okay, I, I, just to, I, I agree with Keisha what she said earlier, and I have the DVD to prove it. Oh, that sure. OJ's son did it. Wait, wait, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You whoa, mean whoa. Apple Juice did it? No, no that OJ did it. OJ son did it. Why, why would he do it? The reason he did it, I, it's called the Overlook Suspect. I, if, you, if you, y'all give me the address, I'll mail y'all a copy of it. OJ oh, son right. killed so stay on the phone. After, after this, you stay on the phone you and, and give a phone call to our producer. And your phone, your phone number. And Hold on, he can't get his address. No, no. Okay, so young. go ahead. Go ahead. The Overlook Suspect. It's uh-huh. overlook. It's called the overlook suspect. It it, it goes into detail of Kevin why OJ son that. did it and why. And the only thing that OJ did, he protected his son. He knew his son did it. OJ went over there after his son did it. Mm. Mm. Why? He, why would his son do it though? His okay. Uh, Miss Simpson motive. was throwing OJ's motive. wife was throwing a um. His son was supposed to throw a big old party. And he was a chef at this restaurant, and the family was supposed to come over. My man, Simpson, let him finish, though. Stop it. Let him finish. I'm sorry. Huh? Go ahead, Johnny. No, no, no. Go, no. Let go ahead. Go ahead. Don't worry. About I'm him. laughing. Let him, let him don't finish. tell me. I, I work here. He don't. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, Johnny. We want to hear his story. I'm just laughing at this whole. Go ahead. Go, go ahead. ahead. OJ's son worked at a restaurant. Mm-hmm. They was go. He was throwing this big dinner for big old Simpson. dinner. You said that. Okay, she decided not to go. The, mm-hmm. the, so his son got mad and got off and went over there and approached Miss Simpson. When he went over there, he the knife he he y'all said he killed Ronald Goldman. First. What happened was he killed Miss Simpson first while Ronald Goldman was coming up while she was on the ground and they had an altercation. Over and dinner? that's when because he was mad, so he went over there to confront. He her. was mad because she didn't attend his dinner. Yes, so you he could, killed I, over the hors d'oeuvres. <laughs> my man. <laughs> Seize time. <laughs> no, I have the DVD. I have the DVD. I'm Who just, made the DVD? Apparently you didn't watch it. You man. can't believe everything you see. Now they was having okay, a big old I dinner. Guarantee you, I guarantee you, if y'all had this subject in a week after y'all watch it, y'all, y'all agree. The overlooked suspect. Well, you know what? The overlooked hey, suspect. We're going to make sure we get your uh, information. We're going to give you the information where the mail is to. And we're going to watch this because what you just I'm said. I'm not watching that. So it, it just the motive was because she refused to let him have that. Put like big this. Old put like this. They found. They even found the murder weapon. The police don't want to say nothing about. It. They even found the that? murder weapon. Why not? You know. Okay. Every black person knows what? when you when you lose your storage, your storage goes to public auction, right? Yes. What happened was his son lost his storage, and, and his son got sold, auction. and they found the murder. They found the murder weapon in his son's storage. So why they never prosecute his son? Bow. They didn't prosecute his son because Los yes, Angeles County don't want to admit they messed up. You already, no, everybody see. already know they messed up. So why would you reopen the First case? First of all, L.A. County will prosecute your ass yeah, for the will. smallest things. Right. Now, now you, me and you both know that, Ty, because you live in L.A. Right <laughs> there, you know that. They, they will prosecute your ass for anything. I'm telling you, once y'all see this, Johnny Mac, I'm going to call back and y'all, you, you tell me what you think. Now, let me ask you this, Ty. Did you used to work for Mark Furman? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the phone call, man. Thanks for the phone. Hey, get his information. Yeah, get his information. So Stay online, that. But that don't make no sense, Johnny. That don't make, make no if, sense. If you found the murder weapon, Speedy, that how how would you not prosecute somebody off of a case that big? That big, a double homicide. You can't. That because, don't even. It don't make because sense. Because th- now, now you because it's gonna take a lot of work. A lot. That's of what money. you here to do is work. That, uh-huh. That's your job to prosecute people uh-huh. as a prosecutor. Bam. That's saying I don't want to work. Bam. All I'm going to say, if the hey. beanie don't fit, you must have quit. <laughs> must have quit. Hey, you put the um oh, in dumb. dumb. We got one more phone call. our last phone hey, call. Hey, popcorn. Come. <laughs> no popcorn. You don't know popcorn. You in a videotape with popcorn. <laughs> I don't know popcorn, man. Hey, make sure you watch the first 48 
on A and E. Nigga, that shit is great. I'm telling you. You and you know what's crazy? If you watch this show, you would never want to commit a crime. Sure right. Cause you right. know they they, they, they gonna find they, they caught a dude one time. He had committed a crime and he had cleaned up the house. Mm-hmm. And then the police went test the tech the uh, check the vacuum bag. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. And they said because your hairs, all of, your yeah, pubic yeah. hairs or your head hairs never leave. No, they they stay in there. And they found that nigga hairs in, in the, the goddamn bag. bag. And they told him, get <laughs> in the car, nigga. Get in the bag. Yeah. Get in the car. Because <laughs> the beanie fit. <laughs> <laughs> this is our last phone call. We got my man Maze. Just a rapper? We got Maze from San Antonio. What up, Maze? What's good? All I want to say first off is Johnny motherfucking Mac. What's cracking, baby? <laughs> Fuck you and them Lakers. I'm going to send OJ out to both of you motherfuckers. Hysterical. <laughs> <That's laughs> I, I, I say OJ is not guilty, but don't, don't bring the nigga on my crib, though. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I'm going to stick him on you. Well, OJ did it. Him and the son. OJ put Icy Hot on, got his son, and rolled out on that bitch. Icy Hot. That nigga said Icy Hot. <laughs> you know the juice old, baby. He the juice up. <laughs> Hysterical. You got to get right. I just thought, I mean, I don't know who did it, but my thing is the the motive that the last caller just said that he was was mad because he didn't show show to to his dinner. Big old old dinner. Oh, my God. (laughs) You know what? I was cooking, right? And I said, come through. That's going to be one of the greatest mysteries of the world. When the world ends, you ask God. Just give me the answer on that. Yeah, I might not get a chance. No, replay it. I want to see who I might not get a chance to speak to Jesus like that. But you know, you never know. He might not. Grade me on a Miami trip, speed. <laughs> he may he may put it on the curve on that on, on that day. You never know. Just ask for you know what I'm saying. We are gonna go to uh 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 pour this for the for the Bud Light and the for what the other read the BET. Nobody celebrates Black Music Month like BET, and BET. this year will not disappoint. This year's Queen Latifah hosts queen? the 10th Give annual to queen. BET Awards. You That's I right. She does a great job. A she might even be producing it, knowing the Queen. I doubt it. She be doing don't, her thing. She be having some honeys. I mean. Let's move on. It all happens Sunday, June 27th at 8 p.m., 7 p.m. Central, only on BET. BET? This year marks 10 years for 10. the BET Awards. So you know big it's going to be big off up, big up. the hook. Yeah. Get ready to enjoy mind-blowing performances and the world's biggest stars all coming to you live. And I'll name a few. T.I., okay. Trey Songz, Eminem, Speedy. Diddy, Dirty Money, Kanye West is back, John Legend, Nicki Minaj, Rick I Ross. Like I really like her. I like her. She's hot. You know who else don't like her? I don't her? like the two-tone hair. You know who else don't like her? Lil' Kim. Lil' Kim hates her. I don't yeah. like her. This. I love her. What about Kerry Hilson? I don't who? like her. She's hot. Kerry She's Hilson. Rick Ross, Drake, Jay-Z, and many, many more from the king of all awards shows. What about Lil Wayne? He's uh, on lockdown. <laughs> Villa remote. Villa remote. <laughs> so we'll find out who will win best group, best actress, best best actor, and who made the best collaboration. So who's your money on? I think Puffy should win for Bring Him to the Greek. I think he should be the best actor. <laughs> that shit was terrible. Be sure to check out the BET Awards 10th shit anniversary show, terrible. Sunday, June 27th. Sunday. The ultimate destination you won't want to miss. Watch that and then watch Who Killed Cobra? <laughs> and for more information and categories, be sure to log on to BET.com slash BET Awards. And then there it is. You know what? You know, we're going to be backstage doing our thing. We're going to get a chance to interview these cats. Because you know I me, mean? I'm going to get the real questions. I don't want to hear, how did you get started? Who gives a you, fuck? Your favorite question is, how many groupies? That's all I Because they still might have some groupies. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got Keith no group, but at least I got some groupies. Yeah. Keith Sweat did have some groupies. H-Town did have some groupies. Yeah, but, but well, H-Town two of them did. off the town. <laughs> <laughs> it was just town. <laughs> um, want to give a shout out to Bud Light Bud with Light. superior drinkability oh, yeah. that just right taste, not too heavy, not too light. It and goes great with ab- fish <laughs> and unique ability, <laughs> ability <laughs> to and elevate and popcorn, <laughs> <laughs> little popcorn, little popcorn, <laughs> and unique ability to elevate good times with friends. Bud Light is fun, social, and the perfect Ooh, beer for bringing popcorn. people together. <laughs> Bud Light's drinkability, the just right taste, not too heavy, not too light, is what sets Bud Light apart from other light beers. It's the sure sign of a good time the just right taste of Bud Light here we go here we go hey you know what man it's, a little popcorn. Hey, I'm you know kidding. I got you a little popcorn on tape <laughs> <laughs> you was with him that night don't lie to me boy I don't know little popcorn <laughs>
<laughs> they be getting them, boy. Hey, I'm telling you, watch the first That's 48. That's my mother's favorite show. Man, that show, because it's, it's real live. Shout out to my boy, Jamie Foxx, man, doing his thing. You know what I'm saying? He had to be, uh, he had another engagement he had to go to today. So, you know. Fox. And uh, I had talked to him last night to rub it in. I gave my boy a shout out, Tyron Turner. You know what I'm saying? When the Lakers lost uh, game five, he texted me 17 times to my kid yourself. Wow. Yeah. 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 Who's dying now? Huh? Mm. Huh? Ain't no more beans in Bean Town right now, huh? Ain't, ain't no the, fun when the rabbit got the ain't gun. Ain't no fun. I got me a, a, a shout out to me. I slept in my, uh, on my Kobe comforter last night with my Kobe K phone. <laughs> with yeah. your Kobe pajamas. Yeah, yeah. yeah whatever it yeah. takes. I, I'm getting the ream. I'm going to wear it around my waist though. <laughs> <laughs> Those niggas is huge. Like a belly chain? All I want to say, <laughs> if the beanie don't fit, you must have quit. And that's the end of our show. Hey, tune in. Hey, take. You mean to tell me you don't know little popcorn? I want to thank everybody that listens to the Foxhole, man. Serious 106. We love you, 149, man. man. We coming to a city near you, too. There it is. There it is. All right. Foxhole.